What's up, YouTube? Murphy Firearms Training here, sitting in my press. This is a Lee Load All 2. Uh, it's a great starter press for shotguns. It's a great way to get into loading shotgun loads. Um, there's, there's a whole lot of loads you can't load with this because it has a very limited selection of powder and shot bushings, but um, I can load a lot of things uh, that that make me happy. Uh, today I'm loading a 7 8 ounce trap load that I enjoy shooting quite a bit. And I'm using a Ballistic Products Piston Skeet Light wad. And uh, you can see different powders over here in the powder measure. And there's another press behind me and all kinds of stuff on my reloading bench. But today we're focusing on shotguns. And uh, I'm starting with, this is already primed and sized. I went and did that off camera. And so, um, and I'll, I'll go through that stage with my second one just to shorten the video a little bit. But so we'll start if we're, if we're working with a brand new hole that's primed or a once fire hole that's already sized and primed, we'll start in this middle station, uh, pull our handle down, powder charge, never loaded shotguns one handed. So bear with me, put our wad, just a little bit of pressure there and then drop our shot this is number eight shot okay and so we've got our wad and our shot and anybody can do that that's the easy part here's the hard part um on the lee press we'll change hands with the camera the front is the eight point starter and the back is the six point starter so you sit this in the back because it is a six point i mean you can count them it's previously um, and I prefer the six point. So to crimp with the Lee load all on a once fired hull, if it has a six point crimp, you're going to take the point of a star. Doesn't matter which star, the point of a star should be pointing straight back. Okay. So if you're looking at the press, that point should be pointing straight back. Okay. And if you have that point pointing straight back, it lines up with the crimping, the crimp starter. And you get as good of a crimp start as you would on a brand new hull. Okay, so if we get the camera to focus on this thing. So, brand new. And then we put it in the final crimp. And we get, voila, a really nice shotgun shell like you'd buy in the store. Okay, so now we're going to go with the eight point crimp. Okay, same wad, same charge, same everything, okay? Set this thing in the depriming station. That's the first station on the load all. Pull down all the way, okay? And uh, didn't quite have that lined up right, so I'm going to scoot it around. The um, collar was hitting the press. There we go. All right, so that knocks our primer out. That sizes our brass, uh, second station, you've got this, this here is sized very, very tight to a 12 gauge rim. Um, you want to make sure that that's sitting in there. If it's off by the slightest bit, if it's not really sitting in that relief area, uh, the primer won't line up and you'll have a lot of trouble. Okay. Uh, oops. You know what? I forgot the primer. Too busy talking to y'all and forgot the primer. Reloading on video is hard. Okay, line that up all the way down. Uh, that does two things. That knocks my sizing collar off and it primes my hull. Okay, now back to the center station. And this will be identical to the six-point crimp. You go down, powder charge, put your wad Line that up with the wad guide. Just a little bit of pressure. You're not killing it, but just seat it firmly. Okay, this is an eight point crimp. So it's gonna go on that front station. This guy, you do not point a point straight back. Okay, so with the six, you would point the point straight back. With the eight, you actually find a spot between the two points, okay? So you're actually looking for, let me get my screwdriver. I brought a screwdriver out just for this, okay? And you're going to put this spot, okay? It's the spot between 
two points. Okay, so you're not not this point, not this point, but the low spot between the two points. Okay, put that low spot pointing straight back. Okay, so the low spot pointing straight back, and also conversely pointing straight forward because it's symmetric. Okay, so put that there. Pull down. And you get a crimp start as good as with a new hull. And then you put it in your finishing station. And voila. You get a really nice finished crimp. So if you uh, decide to load with a lead load all two, um, the six point crimpers in the back and you have to have a point of the star pointing straight back and if you are crimping eight point you're going to not put the point straight back but put a divot between the points going straight back and that actually lines up with the crimp starter that's up inside of these tubes here and you get a really nice crimp loading once fired holes this is a great great press to get into shotgun reloading however it can also be very frustrating because you have a very limited number of loads because you don't have a lot of powder bushings. You don't have a lot of shot bushings. For an example, I found a really great load a friend of mine uses. It's a three-quarter ounce load. Seven-eighths is the smallest shot bushing that this press will hold. So I can't load that one using this press. Um, you know, But at the same time, if you enjoy reloading, um, you can make a reload that would be $11, $12, 13 a box in the store for about $5 a box. Um, and I got this press for $52 plus tax. So it got me into reloading shot shells really cheaply. Um, and then, of course, I use my once fired hulls over. Um, these are hulls that I bought brand new. So notice there's no markings on them. Um, and then these are holes that I bought. They're just the $22, $23, $100. $100. They come in the bulk pack, the 100-pack trap loads. And uh, I reload my once-fired holes. Um, and the big thing with once-fired holes is you just want to inspect them. Like I see that white spot there, and I have to just check and make sure, is that a crack or is it just discolored? And if it's not a crack, I'm going to go ahead and load this. And if it is a crack, then I'm going to trash it. Uh, but that's how we run our press. And the way I do it every time is when I've got my hull up here ready to go, is I slip on my sizing collar. And I put my primer right there. And I go ahead and get a wad and set it on the table. And so I've got everything ready to go for, okay? If you buy... Let me grab one because I have them sitting off to the side here. Brand new holes. Okay. Brand new hole. So this guy's never been primed, never been crimped, and it's already primed. You skip the sizing and depriming. You skip the priming. You go straight to the center station. And because this has never been crimped, it doesn't matter if you pick six or eight. Doesn't matter. Six or eight. Pick one. Six is in the back. Eight's in the front. And it doesn't matter what way you orient it because this has never been crimped before. Whereas you need to line this guy up with the crimp starter. Um, otherwise, you get um, the original crimp and then you try to do a new crimp and you get this weird, you know, somewhere between 8 and 12 on a 6-point crimp and it doesn't crimp properly because all the material's bunched up and it's really ugly. Um, and I've made a few really ugly shotgun shells to learn that, so hopefully you learn from my mistake. Uh, but if you do buy the new uncrimped primed hulls, uh, and sometimes you can catch these on a really good sale, um, and, and it's really actually cheaper to do this than it is to prime and resize once fired, which is crazy. But um, I caught these hulls on sale for $5.49 for $100, um, and that was just too good to pass up. So I bought some new hulls and run those through. Um, but Anyway, um, the 
just from my own experience with brand new, these are Cheetite, their value hulls are real low cost hulls. My experience with these hulls is the six point crimper with this machine works better. Uh, so the only time I use the eight point is when I have a once fired hull, like a factory hull that was eight point crimped from the factory. And I don't know if it's my particular machine, if it's this particular eight point crimper, but for some reason with an un crimped brand new hole the six point crimp works better um, it always gives me a nice closed crimp whereas the eight point crimp frequently leaves a tiny hole in the center of the crimp and uh, so anyway I hope that helps you I hope that's interesting if you have questions about the Lee load all too um, maybe one day I'll do a video where I set this thing up and uh, show you my powder selection my bushing selection all that fun stuff but find your load you like and uh, this is this load's running about 1450 feet per second with seven eighths of an ounce shot. And it, it actually runs a pretty tight pattern. It is a, a, a better load than what you can buy from Walmart for about the same price as what you pay for Walmart ammo. Um, so I really like it. I enjoy loading it. If you have questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. Have a great day.